So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I take off my makeup and kind of my nightly routine. But I'm going to be using the Garnier, Garnier Skin Active Micellar Water. I really do like this stuff. If I have lashes on, I go ahead and just soak the two cotton pads. Go ahead and just kind of place them both on my eye. It's going to help to break up the oil and the glue. And then your lashes literally just come right off. And then I cleanse my eye in circular motions. And just want to keep the skin moving around the eye in, in an inward circular motion. And of course, that's you want to keep the skin constantly pulling upward and not down. So then I just take off the bulk of my makeup. Holy crap, there went through a couple of these. I know I do. And if you ever go down your neck with your makeup, make sure you get that off. This is just a basic cleanse for my skin. Um, and then I'll go in later and scrub my face. But I would rather get, you know, as much makeup off of my face as I can than, you know, leave it on or really be scrubbing at my face. This is what this cotton round looks like. I want to show you guys just so you know. My face looks clean, looks clear, maybe a little under my eye here, but it looks like I got it, most of it off. I'm going to go back in with some of this micellar water just to show you guys, not crazy, and just kind of do a sweep past my face again. Mind you, that cotton round looked clean, correct? Can you guys see how dirty it still is? I'm using the other side now, and I mean, it's still, there's still so much dirt. Not even dirt, it's makeup, but we're just going to call it dirt. I mean, seriously, like, this cotton pad is so... But I'm going to use the... This is the Spa Dead Sea Mineral Face Cleanser. I got this, I believe, at either TJ Maxx or Burlington. I can't exactly remember. It's probably Burlington. Um, but I never am, like, one to opt out for, like, higher skincare when it comes to facial cleanser because it really doesn't... It doesn't bother me to just cleanse my face with this. So I'm going to go wash my face real quick and I'll be right oh, with that, I'm sorry, I completely forgot to mention. I use the Dermatouch Facial Scrub. I've had this one for a while. I just, um, like, replaced the heads on them. But this is the acne so one. I know, so I'm going to clean my face with this and this. And we'll so once my face is clean, it's very important to moisturize. And I'm not going to be a stickler on you guys because I'm not a stickler on it. I tell myself I need to moisturize. I need to cleanse. But I never do, or if I do, it's very little, or I'll forget, and then I'm tired, and I'm like, oh, I washed my face, whatever, I don't need moisturizer. But I can always tell when I moisturized the night before and when I didn't. Obviously, after I cleanse my face, I always go in with the Benefit It's Potent Eye Cream. This one's just a little sample. I love this. Um, I, of course, don't want wrinkles when I get older, so I would rather take preventative measures then have to fix something later that obviously could have been prevented or some of it could have been prevented. Hey honey, open your eyes eye contour cream. And I just kind of set this on because then I'll rub it in with this and I just like to take um, one of these. And this is just a lifting fluid for your eyes so they won't sag or bag as much. And then I take the two middle fingers and these, you don't want to take your like thumb or your pointer finger because it's going to give you a lot of pressure and it could um, end up having like reverse effects on your skin. And I really just massage this into my eye and I'll take it down onto my cheeks. But of course the eye, eye cream and eye fluid are meant for your eye. So I'm going to take them on my eye. As you're doing it, you will still see even though we, you know, took our makeup off, we removed our makeup, we cleansed our face, we cleaned our face, you will still see that you have makeup that is hidden that these products I are I always use the Mar... What is this? Is this the Mario Badescu? Oh, no, I'm sorry. It's right there in front of me. This is the Murad um, Acne Spot Fix Fast Fix. Ooh, tongue twister. Um, I just like to put this where my, like, acne spots are. Where I can feel I'm coming in. I don't know if you guys can see, but yeah, you can definitely see. Oh my goodness! Wow. There's a bad pun in there somewhere, but I'm not gonna say. And of course, you want to put your your medicated cream or um, medication. I'll just call it on first, and then I just kind of rub it into like other areas. I focus it mainly where my acne is, but I'll take it like around my T or not my T zone, uh, my nose. Just to really get in there, it has benzoyl peroxide. It's going to get in there, it's going to clean it out, it's going to tighten your pores. 
and work wonders, but you want to put that on before you put anything else on because you really want that medication to get deep into your skin and not have to work through like a barrier of moisture. Of course, your eye cream is fine. I don't have any acne or breakouts around my eye, so I'm not putting the medication there. Okay, whatever. Next, I'm going to be going in with this retinol night cream, and I'm going to mix that with a little bit of the Mar Mario Badescu Peptide Renewal Serum. So what I like to do is I'll just take a little bit of the end of my palm, like so, and then I'll take this um, serum that I have. This is the Peptide Renewal. Mix it up together, and it just really helps the serum, you know, stick. And then I just massage, I'll just massage this into my face, making sure to get everything down your neck onto your decollete. That sounded weird because I was rubbing my face at the top. And you want to make sure that you're hitting your neck and your decollete. Your, I believe it is your decollete and neck or your neck. Is it your neck and hands or your neck and decollete? I can't remember. But that skin there is the first to wrinkle and to sag. So you want to make sure that you're hitting that with any tightening serums. I'm only 24. No, I don't have any wrinkling. No, I don't have any sagging. But I would much rather prevent it than have to fix it later. This Glow Minerals Moist Hydrating Mist right now just because that's what I have close. And this has a really heavy mist. And of course you don't have to do that. Just nice to add a little bit of hydration in. This is the bare minimum. This is not anything spectacular. But if you do it, it is going to help prevent any early wrinkles, any early sagging. It's going to keep your skin looking younger, longer. But don't forget about your lips. I do want to make a very good point of that. You want to keep your lips moisturized because believe it or not, the lip, the skin and your lips are very thin. When it comes to your skincare, they're one thing that's kind of looked over. So be sure you're not looking over your lips. Be sure you're taking care of them. And honestly, ever since really taking care of my skin, I have noticed a difference in it. It's very healthy. It's very, you know, plump. I don't know if that's the right. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys have any products you think I should use or anything that's good, let me know. I'm always open to try new things. If you guys have any video requests you want to see, leave it below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.